grab a drink, grab some snacks because we're going to be diving into 10 healthy habits that have changed my life and what you're going to do to level up your life. Before I get into it, my name is Brianna. I post lifestyle wellness content to motivate, inspire you to live your best life and become your best self. If you have not subscribed already, make sure you do so because you're not going to want to miss any more content from me. Let's talk about healthy habits for a second. So healthy habits are a combination of physical, mental, and emotional practices that contribute to overall well-being. And when you're building healthy habits for yourself, it's not going to just be an overnight thing. You actually have to be consistent with it to actually build the routine behind it. And if you haven't read Atomic Habits, I recommend reading that book because that book also changed my life and really puts in perspective that you should be striving to be 1% better every single day. I'll have that in my storefront down below along with other books that I love to read. When I started building healthy habits, I really wanted to dive deep into creating routines that would make me feel like my best self. I go to sleep excited about my morning routine because it's something that I look forward to and actually enjoy because of the little habits that I put in not only my morning, but just my whole day to set me up for success. And I promise you, you will reach a point where you just feel so happy and so excited about romanticizing the little things like journaling in the morning. So that is going to be habit number one is journaling and mindfulness first thing in the morning when I wake up. I leave my journal right next to my bed because it's visually something that I'm seeing. It's a reminder that I need to do that first thing before doing anything else. If you want to get into journaling, I recommend putting it next to your bed, putting it somewhere where you can see where it is so that, again, you don't forget and then it builds that routine, builds that habit of your everyday lifestyle. I personally use the five-minute journal. You can use any journal, any prompt. You can create your own in a notebook. I don't care what it is, but put that pen to the paper and start writing. Start writing what you're grateful for in the morning. The prompt that I follow in that journal is three things you're grateful for, what would make today a great day and daily affirmations for the day and when you lead with gratitude you just open up so much more to come your way i swear by it it just makes me feel so happy instead of picking up your phone at the first thing in the morning how about writing what you're grateful for because honestly when you see things on your phone it can actually impact your day in a bad way along with that sometimes i'll do guided meditation sometimes i'll just do my own thing just peace and quiet focusing on my breathing and visualization but to start your day with some mindfulness is the real tea I'm a 5 a.m. girly. Does it happen every single day? No, but we're going to talk about the second habit, which is movement daily. So I love a 5 a.m. gym session. For me, that is the best because not only do I feel more productive by being up early and getting something done, I just feel good because, again, I'm not on my phone. I have no distractions. I'm working on me, my goals, which is, you know, feeling like the strongest, best self, and just putting in that work. I also go with my boyfriend, so it's nice because we hold each other accountable, and it's just a great space because other people are up working out. You just feel good overall. Number three, honestly, ever since I started focusing on improving my gut health, I have felt amazing. If you guys know or don't know, I do have celiac disease, so I had to change my diet a year ago. And after that, my body was just overall so inflamed. I needed to dive deep. I needed to take care of my gut health. I take my ritual symbiotic every single morning now. I used to just try to get it in through my foods, but I started incorporating an actual supplement such as ritual because it has prebiotic and probiotic in it, which I was lacking prebiotic specifically. So I started taking that, but just overall focusing on your gut health is not only just supplements that you take or what you eat but your sleep also correlates it all ties together which we're going to talk about sleep a little bit later but yeah so taking care of my gut health has been something that has made me feel so good on the inside and out because your gut rules everything if you're struggling with so many things fatigue brain fog there's just so many things that it can affect and when you don't know what's going on in your body you just kind of are all out of whack so taking care of my gut health and prioritizing that every single day has led me to feeling honestly amazing part of my morning and just my day in general is also just having a good feel good music playlist like while i'm cooking and doing things so for example part of my morning routine when i'm making my breakfast is i'm listening to music while i cook and while i clean the dishes because it just puts me in a good mood all these healthy habits and things should be something like i always say to make you feel good and who doesn't love blasting like your favorite music in the morning or even when you go on drives just have a good feel good playlist so that you can jam out and just romanticize the little things but just have fun with it so put together all your favorite songs this, those singable songs that you just love to sing your heart out trust me in the morning time it is a game changer with the feeling that you get just from singing you're making yourself your favorite breakfast i can't think of a better way to start your day 
a lot of you should already know this healthy habit, but if you don't, let me tell you. So having coffee, we all love coffee. We love our morning coffee. I know we go to sleep dreaming about waking up and making that cup of coffee, but wait until after you eat because honestly, last year when I was struggling with so many symptoms and stuff, I was also having coffee with my breakfast. Sometimes, you know, drinking it a little bit before my breakfast. Even in college, I used to do that. And it's kind of crazy now to think back on, I used to be that person, but my cortisol levels were so high last year. Like the stress, not good. So instead of waking up and just drinking that before even having water, you need to make sure that you're having caffeine after you've eaten a well-balanced, yummy breakfast. I also like to share some of my breakfast things and stuff in my vlogs. If you guys want to see a full what I eat in a day, comment that down below to let me know. But having your coffee, matcha, whatever it is, after you eat is key to avoid spiking your cortisol levels. So make sure that you're doing that. We can all enjoy our latte, but make sure that your body feels good and you're fueling it first. I know I spoke about getting in movement daily, like going to the gym, but getting in those steps. As somebody who works from home, I'm constantly sitting. I'm not really walking around like all the time, obviously, because I just like am sitting on my computer. So getting in steps daily has been something that I recently added a new habit that is in my routine well given that it's now springtime the weather's getting nicer and overall spending more time outside so that can go together has been amazing you just feel so grounded being around nature hearing the birds chirp like getting in actual steps because I'm definitely not getting it enough is so good me and my boyfriend have been walking together literally almost every single day and it's so nice so if you're on a lunch break or whatever try to get in your steps whether it's midday after your work day in the morning instead of going to the gym whatever it is just try to get your steps in every single day because it actually feels so good and also just allows me to regather my focus especially if i'm doing it you know mid work day i get to just like release everything and then hop back into my work day just feeling better and just getting in sunlight vitamin d it's so important and i just can't like i'm just so excited i'm going on a walk later today and i'm really excited for it you're not gonna want to hear it but the phone usage so what i personally have started doing i don't even know this is now months ago i started making sure that in the morning i'm not having my phone usage and at night before bed really limit my phone usage since i work on my phone i do content creation if you guys don't know follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok i'll put it right here but limiting your phone usage and you could do this a few ways so what i like to do is lock my phone app so in the morning i cannot go on any apps i think it opens up at like 8 a.m sometimes i still don't even go on it at that time i really try to be strict with myself on it i'm not going to say that every day is perfect but it really helps so you can limit your you can lock your apps to lock at a certain time in the morning it'll turn on and then overnight so i turn mine off i think it turns off at 8 or 8 30 at night and then i can't go on till 8 a.m and what you can also do on each specific app so like tiktok for example you can go in and set a limit through there so that it limits your screen time it'll alert you you spent 10 minutes get off the app that type of stuff so highly recommend doing that if you're somebody who is constantly scrolling aimlessly stop do that for yourself we are not waiting to just do self-care habits one time a week that is that's terrible no you need to make self-care part of your daily routine i'm not saying you need to do the most crazy high maintenance super super self-care routine every single day but what i do want you to do is start doing self-care habits every single night part of your night routine so it's not like you have to do anything super crazy and that can look different for everyone whether it's having a cup of tea at night every night whether that's listening to your favorite music while you have a nice shower whether it's doing an eye mask doing a face mask doing a hair mask for yourself something little it doesn't have to be so many things like i said but something self-care related every single night will have you feeling really good and just it makes the whole routine and it makes every day more enjoyable so you look forward to something every day because to be honest every day not every day is going to be perfect the same old same old but if you do these type of things it'll make you also look forward to each day next up we have reading daily and who is she because if you would have told me that i would have actually enjoyed reading i would have been like heck no because younger me i used to actually not like reading in school and stuff is just so different when you're being forced to read certain books that you just don't enjoy but i started reading and building my reading collection just setting new goals for myself every month to read more than one book one to two books i've been on a good roll i'm actually waiting i need to order a new book because i just finished the other one that i was reading but getting into reading over scrolling at night so we spoke about phone usage and also self-care like this can also be a part of it but reading every single night is so good honestly and you could just do something find a book that you actually enjoy to different genres you know explore different things but doing that will also just get your mind off of 
social media and off of your phone for a bit and also for me i like to do it at night because it gets me sleepy so it's just like the perfect thing because like i don't want to be you know on my phone and my eyes strain like i just want to sit calm read have your tea you can habit stack the beauty of habits is habit stacking you can do two things at once have your tea do a face mask and read at once that is the ultimate night routine. And it's just really fun. I've been reading, so I was reading Colin Hoover. I read a different book, Archer's Voice. I just like that type of genre. I'm, you know, exploring different ones. I just read a thriller book, which was called uh, The Silent Patient. I also have all my books in my Amazon, the ones that I've read so far. So if you guys want to take a look at that, also drop any book recommendations that you might have for me. That would be really greatly appreciated. Getting into reading has been something that was new for me a couple months ago. And then here I am reading all the time now which is fun so building my collection for sure i'm kind of running out of space of where to put them because i don't have my own little library another semi new one which i know i do my journaling and stuff which is good for morning night reflecting but daily affirmations but actually saying them out loud daily that is really powerful because your our minds like mindset is everything what you say what you constantly say and stuff is so powerful so saying good positive affirmations every day has been something that helps me especially if i'm in my luteal phase or those phases where it's we are so hard on ourselves and our thoughts sometimes is just not the best because our hormones everything goes out of whack crazy every single month it's kind of annoying not kind of it actually is annoying especially during my work day too i found such a difference that doing the daily affirmations makes so really try that it doesn't have to be anything crazy but just throughout the day try to remind yourself again you're gonna build a habit so it's not gonna be like something you remember all the time but if you can remember it start doing it while you're washing the dishes like random things while you're getting ready trust me it makes a difference last one if you're still here great but the last one is actually getting a good night rest every single day every single day i am not a night owl i'm a morning girl i love waking up early i love having my good routines i don't like being miserable when i wake up in the morning so getting good sleep is key especially for those 5 a.m mornings it just makes no sense why would i want to just waste my time staying up late scrolling or doing something where i could actually get my good rest have a good morning routine set myself up for success and feel my best and sleep is very important honestly sleep is very important for so many things it affects your immune system it affects so many different things stress levels all that type of stuff so make sure you're getting good rest every single day and for me i need like seven to eight hours of sleep i need that sleep honestly because it just allows me to perform my best throughout the day have that good clarity you know just really be focused and have like a good productive day without the burnout without you know all these other things that can happen and i love my hatch alarm clock because i do the unwind setting when i'm going to sleep which like when i'm making my bed taking out my workout outfit it just plays like a relaxing song and you could just like edit that through the app that i have on my phone like the hatch app and then i do the actual sleep setting which plays it's red light because we all know the red light therapy is really good when you're going to go to sleep if you haven't seen like everywhere i feel like i've seen it all the time but i do the red light and then i do the pink noise i think there's like different noises i used to do the ocean sound i kind of switch whatever i'm vibing with but i'll put that on and it's a timer i put for 25 minutes because that's my ideal time i don't need to playing the whole time but you would be surprised sometimes after that 25 minutes i'm like girl can't sleep but when you have a good other part of your night routine you'll have a good night rest make sure you get your good night rest because that affects how you wake up in the morning if your morning routine is shit reevaluate your night routine cheers to the 10 habits that have changed my life and have me feeling like the best version of myself like i said not every day is perfect but you want those habits to stay consistent consistency is key in anything that you do if you did get to the end of the video comment this emoji because you are a real one and you're going to be leveling up i can already see it comment down below some things you struggle with some things you have questions on because i'm here to help you be your best self and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and i'll see you in the next video